place killer with all that fun What's stuff. going on everybody? It's your boy Boone coming at you all day brand new Supreme Droplets video. It's Supreme Nike week. We got a couple other lookbook items. A shit bucket, man. Come on. We got another fun week on the Supreme website today. We are gonna be reviewing every single item, taking a look at the retail, and trying to figure out can we make five dollars on anything? Maybe. Who knows? I don't. I don't think I know this shit, man. I don't. I'm just spitballing up here, man. Let's just get in this video. We do also have Palace of Visu coming up. Maybe if we get a lot of likes. I'll force myself to buy some of that shit, man. I just, I, I can't be spending all this money because I'm gonna be going kind of crazy this week. I'm just letting y'all know right now. But let's get in the video though. I'm gonna stop yelling. <laughs> let's begin. Now, really fast, you guys know the drill. If you would like to see my written up cards for every single week, come join our Discord group. You'll see me in that group tomorrow during the live cop, talking to all the fellas, going over my cards. We cover every single release. I'll be doing a drop review as well of Palace of Isu. Even though I'm not doing one on YouTube, um, I still write up releases like that in my group. So yeah, if you wanna join, get a free seven day trial, hit the top link in the comments, and let's get into it. So, um, first off, Supreme Community, man, I've had it up to here, bro. Please, I'm, I'm begging you guys, man, just start updating these retails earlier. We get the retails every single Tuesday, and I have to wait till Wednesday to drop the video, because y'all just sit on your fucking asses. I know nobody else cares, but for someone that makes videos about this shit, it kills me. It fucking kills me. Let's get into it, though. I'll stop bitching. Starting it off, the number one uploaded item. <laughs> I'm so proud. You guys did it, man. We finally have a top up for an item that's actually something I recommend going for. I'm absolutely stunned you guys were able to fight off the shit bucket boys to get the Supreme Nike Ripstop Pullover, the number one upvoted item. And this, I think, by far is the best item out of the Nike collection. You got a really nice Nike swoosh on the backside. Of course, it's a little basic. There's not a lot of Supreme branding, although you do have a little collar hit. Um, but I just, I think it's really wearable. The retail is 168, which is a really good price to pay. We just saw. Um, the normal track jackets are 168 this one being a collab and still being the same price that's a good deal so I'm stoked on this I think all three colors are pretty solid here my favorite is probably the gradient I think it's like the most recognizable item um, from this whole collection um, the black is not bad either even the white is decent just because the red swoosh kind of saved it saved it a little bit uh, but I think any of these is a good option now guys this isn't gonna be instant profit track jackets um, it's kind of tough to get instant profit we talked about that track jacket last week it's doing 250 out the gate. I did kind of expect the purple one to do pretty well at first. I'd kind of compare it though to a jersey where you know it's going to go up in its price and actually sell for some good profit, but you got to be patient with it. It's really not worth quick selling. Um, and the same is true of these Supreme Nike collections. I never recommend quick selling them because they always go up in their price. Um, it's one of the best aging collections we get out of Supreme every season. So if you get one of these jackets, I would hold on to it for a while. I think I'm going to be going for one myself, either a size medium or size large. And I think I'm going to be going for that rainbow color. Um, maybe even go for two of them and two different colors in the same cart if you're able to. I kind of feel like they won't let you. Um, but I think this is the best time to go for. I expect it to be going for around 220-ish. And it'll age up to like 250 plus. And I mean, at 168, that's not a bad price, man. If you really want to be adventurous, XXL should do the best. Small's been doing kind of sneakily well recently. So that's an interesting size. Um, but I'm probably going medium-large. Let's move it on. We're going to just talk about the Nike stuff to start. Sorry, oh. Bucket. We'll give you your time of day. But next up, we have the denim shorts, which I personally was not that into these. I just felt like I don't know, man. It's a denim short with a Nike logo and a little Supreme hit. Um, but I've seen a lot of love for them from a lot of people in my Discord and on Reddit. Now, I'm not going to sit here and act like, I'm too cool for trends, man. I, I would never wear denim shorts. Like, yeah, dude, they're cool. All right. I definitely enjoy it. I know it's a trendy thing to wear. And I actually think the Nike hit looks pretty nice and actually should be visible, which is definitely a good thing. It's probably one of the best personals from this whole collection, the black or the denim pair. The white pair is, what are we doing? I really don't like that pair, but um, these are 128, which is a pretty Pretty good price to pay for a supreme denim short that's actually again usually what their retail price is of their lookbook ones so um no markups on this collab that's one thing i love with supreme nike thank you nike like we, you're a billion dollar industry thank fuck you don't make us sorry ass supreme customers pay ten dollars more like all these other fucking brands sorry that that one just cuts deep you know so shout out to nike for that um but i think the denim pair actually could have some resell here um again it's gonna be a hold item but even some of the basic lookbook supreme nike shorts i have sold uh for pretty good prices like 160 to 170 um these are 128 so that's not gonna make you a huge profit margin but i wouldn't be stunned to see these get up to the 200 range it's kind of similar to most jeans with supreme after like a couple months there's gonna be very few asks for these and the prices might actually get kind of ridiculous so yeah i think this one's actually worth grabbing to hold on to speaking of denim let's go to the puffer vest which i can't quite be as confident on this as i have these first two items i've talked about vests are not really a traditional resale item with supreme whenever north face does them they kind of brick the lookbook ones kind of brick even if i think
think they're dope. And I think these are really dope. They got a really nice Supreme Nike hit on the back. This is probably like the best Supreme branding we have as well on these collars. So um, I definitely think it's a solid one. You also have the swoosh on the front, which I really enjoy that. Um, the denim or the black one, I would think the black one's probably gonna do the best here if you were to buy one. What are the retails? I'm a little scared to see this. Ooh, 170. Hey. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Uh, no, dude, I don't think so. That's just too much money to pay. Uh, vest, just like I said, not really a traditional resale item. I'd go for the shorts if you really want to get one of the denim items. Although, I think the vests are cool. It's cool personal. I guess really fast, I'll talk about these track pants. If I was to get the track pants, I'd probably go for the black colorway here. Um, the rainbow is just... I mean, let's be real man like they're cool but people are not really gonna be wearing those very much or really demanding them the white pair I don't know I feel like white track pants just don't do that well and the blacks just so wearable but these probably have the most lacking branding of any item out of the collection like literally just a little baby pocket logo hit like come on bro ain't nobody gonna see that they should have put a supreme hit like around the swoosh or on the other pant leg it's just uh, there's not enough branding on these I think they're kind of skippable Jeez, man I feel like you could really get a pair of these just off the Nike website um, let's also talk about the crush now, this is called the Dazzle Crusher, which, oh, God mm. fucking Christ, man. Why can't you just get a normal ripstop crusher? Like, why is this the one item you had to go all bougie on? Um, I, I hate this Dazzle kind of shine these have. I still think there is potential. I would say the black color or the white. Oh, wait, is the white going to be a white Supreme logo, though? Oh, fuck. I didn't think about that. Um, probably just the black one. I just, I hate these myself, but um, crushers can age really well with Supreme. They're kind of a weird item. Um, I would imagine these take some time to go up in their price. Really fast, Nike mesh shirt, no. <laughs> no, never. That shit's terrible. Worst item of the collection. Did not need it. Didn't need to exist ever. Let's talk about the sweatsuit. Now, this is the final item. Um, these are actually decently upvoted. I don't know why I skipped over them. I'm just making y'all watch the fucking video so I can get some ads to afford this shit. The sweatshirt's coming in at 148 cheaper than your normal Supreme hoodies, so that's actually already a good start to these and pink it's gonna be the pink my guy the pink is definitely my favorite color here um, we saw those logo applique items the pink was doing the best blacks up there too pink and black are my favorites but pink is usually a less stock colorway while black is the most stock so that's kind of where I give my tier list to them I think pink is the one to go for I think size small is the move here we saw with the applique items the ladies were loving them so all the smalls actually performed really well um, so if I was to go for the sweatsuit I would definitely go for the pink I might even do it I'm not gonna lie to y'all man um, if I get to a second checkout, pinks are still there in size small. I might go grab them myself in a double cart. I think that's a juicy little checkout. The sweatpants, $10 cheaper at $138. I actually don't know that for sure. I'm just making that. All right, they are $138. Here, the black might be better, man. The black looks really good for these. And obviously, it's a very wearable color um, for sweatpants. I still think the pink is doable. Like, if you're going to go size small pink, I don't think that's a bad idea. But otherwise, I like these black sweatpants a lot. I just think pink hoodies are a little more normal than pink sweatpants. So I think you can get away with the pink hoodie, but black sweatpants might not be a bad choice here. 138, money to be made, man. Wouldn't be shocked to see these aging up to 200 range. Um, so I like the sweatpants and the sweatshirt. Just those specific colors and sizes, though. Other ones I think are kind of skippable. I hate the actual design, but when well, there's money to be made, there's money to be made, man. So some really good holds from Supreme Nike, as per usual. Honestly, though, like the collection is pretty dull. I'm not really that excited about it, besides like the gradient track jacket. Let's keep it moving, though. We got the bucket. And now this is coming in at what is it 20 bucks this is a slap to the face man sometimes supreme comes out with these accessories that i think are just bets james jb is like making bets with the co-workers talking about like i guarantee you we can sell 10,000 fucking shit buckets with a box i'll go on it the only problem is i don't know if anyone would disagree with him so he couldn't even make the bet because uh no shit people are gonna buy this 20 bucks the bucket says supreme i might get one <laughs> I'm one of them motherfuckers, man. Like, Target Market right here. They know they got my stupid lesbian ass by the balls with this one, man. $20 fucking bucket. What should I put in here, though? I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm going to buy one. Fuck it. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, it hopefully won't fly. I would imagine these are big stocked. But it is 20 bucks, so it's going to sell out decently quick. I don't think it's going to be one of the accessories that sits on the website. Hopefully, I can get one. I'm going to try. I don't know why I do this shit, man. Uh, moving on. Established crew next. Sleeper. Don't care. See this shit all the time. Retire the design i don't really like it one of these might end up reselling though i'm not gonna lie like i don't know it's a logo fucking crew neck uh one of them might be a hold but let's talk about some actual juicy items boys because there are some sneaky little lookbook things in here so we got the terry mesh back six panel and i feel like a lot of people are going to be overlooking this but let me just take you back in time to the land before 
time. God, that sounded way cooler in my head. The Supreme Silk Mesh Back 5 panel. This was a hat that sat on the website. I took a nap on it, man. This shit was in its cradle asking for its baba for like weeks on end. It now is selling for $175 with healthy sales. Several sales over $100. And this is almost the exact same design as the hat we're receiving this week. If anything, I think this design is a little bit more wearable. And if that's not enough for you, uh, little fucking Yachty wore this shit in his little magazine shoe. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be getting some of these fucking hats, man. I think this is the best trucker hat we've seen from Supreme in quite some time. I've been hating their trucker hats lately, and it used to be one of their best reselling items. Um, get these, boys. These are gonna be really good aging hats. One of the best aging hats of the season. Black, green, blue, all really good colors. The white, I think, is skippable. This is a great item to multi-cart. I'm gonna be investing in them. Honestly, I see this as a very good investment week. There is a ton of great resale items. I highly recommend you get some of these hats. You're gonna regret it if you don't. At least, for me, your old pal Boone, get that fucking black color, bro. You won't regret it. Just hold on to it. You gotta be patient. You're gonna have to hold it, but I guarantee it's gonna be worth your while. These are 48, right? Uh, uh, where is it? Yeah, they are. Yabba dabba doo, boys. We're copping these. I'm getting those in probably my second or third check out there's so many carts i'm doing this week boy we're going fucking ape shit we're going to the moon elon musk dogecoin great hat here these are going to age up to 70 80 bucks within a couple months worth going for i told you i get the ugk hats they're at 90 these are gonna get up that quickly, but I'm telling y'all I got eyes for these fucking hats man Next up just a crazy resale item right here to hold on to the tag water shorts man I'm gonna be playing tag with these so I'm gonna be touching them up on the damn website man that black color yellow brand like stop it bro The brown's nice the teal is gorgeous. The red is terrible. Holy fuck that red is bad Um, the brown or the black pair here really good cops 110 the supreme water shorts if it's the right design can actually age incredibly well um the 110 is so cheap of a price to pay i highly recommend these as well as another great investment item these should be going up once it gets to like summertime going nutty this week dog i might be dropping a rack like <laughs> i'm not even bullshitting y'all bro i'm gonna be going stupid on this website y'all better lock in for the live cop because there's just so many great investment items coming out i think these water shorts are another one 110 that's 121 after fees if you can get free shipping dude Dude, getting 121 back for a pair of water shorts with a huge supreme hit with solid colorways I'm getting at least at 160 170 sale at least um, but I see these getting up to 200 range man uh, water shorts can do it with supreme they only come out with them so often and these ones have really good branding on them they're super wearable I enjoy them I'm gonna be getting at least one pair I think probably that black I think is by far the best the browns probably second either of those two I think you guys should get one invest in it hold on to it I just don't know the size like honestly sizes are kind of random for short bigger sizes usually have way less competition but also less sales volume so um yeah i'm probably just gonna go for a size 30. if they break i'll put them on my booty man uh bleach chino cam cap these are somehow gonna flip for no fucking reason they're horrendously ugly to me but i don't know it screams limited i think they're 54. i'm not touching them i'm not even gonna touch these with my eyes i'm sick of talking about them they're so ugly but no in the cam cap market y'all are sick fucking freaks man they're somehow gonna flip down the road but i'm skipping them uh lightweight moleskin six panel this has potential to age over time but i'm skipping on them um usually these kind of sit around the 60 70 price point more like the 60s though uh maybe that black colorway actually pops off or the red um those would be the two colors I would buy if I was to invest in this one, um, but I'm gonna be skipping on it personally. Not a bad one to hold on to for a while. If I was desperate to get to free shipping, I'd buy one, but they come out with this style hat all the time. They do hit some crazy prices, but it's gonna be a very long hold. I'm skipping. There's better holds this week. And finally, the contact short sleeve top. This one can delete me out of its contacts. This is terrible. Hate it, don't need it, didn't need to exist. So this is a really good week, y'all. I hope you guys are locking in to buy at least something. The track jacket is a more expensive hold. I do believe in it just because Supreme Nike never leads me wrong. Um, I always end up making money off of their jackets I invest in. So I'm gonna be doing the same with this one. At least that colorful one or the black, maybe the white even. I think all three are pretty solid. Blue denim shorts, I don't think is a bad investment either. Um, my checkout honestly might just be the blue denim shorts and a track jacket for my first cop. I think my second checkout, I might be doing um, the Nike hooded sweatshirt in pink and then maybe a black pair of sweatpants or a pink pair in small. That should get me to free shipping on that card. And then for my final checkout, that's right, three fucking checkouts. I think I'm gonna go Terry Mesh back six panel, get three of those, um, and then the black pair of water shorts. That's another free shipping card, baby. We're locking the fuck in, boys. This is gonna be a stupid week. I think I'm dropping a rack. Um, and yeah, I really just see such good investment items here. I'm stoked for it. Let me know what you guys are gonna go for. It's been your boy Boone. A lot of great items here, man. I'm stoked. Supreme is turning up on us right now. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all for the live cop. I'm out. Peace.